You said that there were three, these three, three big shifts. disruptive yeah. shifts, digital, yeah. cloud, and mobile, yeah. and then you said there was a Cognitive. fourth. Cognitive, yes. Yeah, L allow me, I'll just, because uh, yeah, I do really believe so strongly on this, and you heard it even in some of John's words when he was describing what they were doing, and I said, you know, this world, if you go back, even the last couple years, we talk about cloud, data, mobility, we all talk about that, it's digital. And I said, it's a foundation, you must do those things. It, for us, I said a minute ago, those were 25 billion last year, growing at 30% this year, big business. But it is a foundation, and when everybody becomes digital, what next? And there is a fourth era, and I really believe it is right upon us, called cognitive, and it is, a business era and a technology era. It is now living in a world where you can create a business that learns. And it is because of these systems that you don't program them, they, they both understand all sorts of information, and heck, 80% of information in the world is actually dark to computers. They actually don't know what it is. It's a song, it's a video. What does it really mean? And so they can understand it, they reason, and they learn. And the world is rewritten in code. As a result, you'll infuse learning in any product, any service, anything we do. So to me, this fourth trend has got the capability to be most disruptive and most transformative. How long and is it how long is it gonna take? I, it'll play for a decade or more out in front of us, right? And I think I mean I see it with clients already from the beginning. And I said, I, I was telling Alan, uh, a client that is doing work obviously, not obviously, Watson was one of the first of these things out there that uh, actually it learns over time of an insurance company. They're now in, out and live in 34 different states. Because when someone is filling out an insurance form, the interaction, it's helping them. It knows them, knows what to do. He's telling them, giving their context, how to look at this, how to answer. The closure rate on that insurance, I just said, a client sent me a note this weekend, is 10 points higher than their base closure rate. Now, they're already world class. 10 points, that's a different economic base. I've got another world class retailer on a supply chain, and it is, again, in a pretty big pilot. Sales, two to 10 points higher, margins two to five. Already world class. This idea that you will learn and then it can actually, in that time, infuse, whether it's a product and service, whether it would be how you do engagement, you scale expertise, how you run an operation, how you do discovery, I think there's a wonderful opportunity in front of us, and that is the fourth shift. It builds on the others, but it's- This is what Watson is all about. Well, Watson would be sort of the hero in that story, in, uh, in one element of it, but it is about actually Figured changing out. your business model, and that's what to me is so exciting.